long ago when I was a boy. Our tribal people lived in tule mat huts. Some of our tribal people were chosen to go to the marshy places along the river to cut the tule reeds. I remember the fun we had playing along the river. We caught fish while the women cut the tule. A frame of willow branches was set into the ground, and a small trench was dug around it. The tightly bond tule mats were then tied onto the willow frame. The mats were layered on top of each other for warmth. Animal hides were tightly tied over the tule mats to keep the wind out. I remember it was snug and warm in the tule mat hut. During the winter nights, we listened to the legend teller. A fire for the cooking and the heat was built in the center of the hut on the dirt floor. A hole was left in the top of the hut for the smoke to go through. Some families built a larger house to live in during the winter. This house was made of fir poles. Tule mats were fastened together in layers on the top of the poles. The fires for cooking and heating were built in the center of the dirt floor. Tule mats were spread on the floor to serve the food on or to sit on. Beds were made of fir boughs and wild rye grass. In the morning, the branches and grasses were all gathered up and set aside along the wall of the lodge. Everything has its place, and there was a lot of room inside. Tribal people used the tule mat for many things. The tule mat was cut in the fall of the year and tied in bundles, keeping them as straight as possible while they dried. The tule mat was made by cutting the tule all the same length. Then it was sewn together and tied at each side. The mats were made to whatever length a person wished. The length depended on whatever they were being made for. They were very useful. The tule mats were used in making the longhouse. The longhouse is a place where council talks, social dances, funerals, and other events were held, as well as religious ceremonies. Tule mats were also used in the marriage ceremonies. The bride sat on the mat during the ceremony. Before the coming of the coffin, our tribal people used the tule mat to wrap around the person that passed on before putting the body into the ground. When spring came, we would take our winter lodge down and bundle it up. We left the poles, branches, and mats tied together in a tree so they would be there to be put up again next winter. In the spring, the families moved to the mountains and the hills. Here they would dig for roots and pick berries to be prepared for winter food supply. When I was a boy... My family had two-room houses made of boards up in the mountains. In the house was a wood stove to cook on. We spent our days picking berries and gathering reeds and grasses for making baskets. Then as times changed, our houses changed. We began to live in houses. We had tables to put our food on and chairs to sit on. Beds were made with feather mattresses and wood. Wool blankets replaced the animal skins. We had kerosene lamps to replace the fire. Automobiles replaced horses. Today, we live in big houses with indoor plumbing, no more carrying water from the river. We have electricity, lights, and heat. Food is bought in stores, or if there's a deer or meat, it is stored in the freezer.